Simon, many congratulations. You had to dig really deep there. How are you feeling after that match? Exhausted, first of all, but yeah, really, really happy with that result. That was a tough match. He played so well. You've got so much experience on the big stage and performing in the big moment. How important do you feel that was, particularly in the latter stages of the match? Yeah, it was very important. I mean, that's where my experience came through. I mean, I did get lucky. He, he missed doubles to get to the last leg, and I did it to, to give him a chance. But yeah, I think just experience won that for me. By your really high standards, 2023 has not been the best of you. What do you put that down to? I put that down to messing with darts, barrels, flights, stems, everything. I'm, I'm worse than Peter right now. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm really bad. I just can't settle with something. But a result like this and digging deep and coming through a real tough battle, could that be a springboard for you now going forward? Uh, hopefully, yeah. Look, I'm, not, I'm not that positive, I'll be honest. I mean, that, that wasn't great. I mean, average 90, that, that's not great. But I got the win and I dug deep. I threw some big darts at the right time. So I've got a, a few positives going into tomorrow. And you're up against the resurgent Gary Anderson tomorrow. You've had some great battles on this stage and many other stages before. Paul, what are your thoughts on that matchup? I'm thinking I'm going to get my ass kicked, if I can say. <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's always more in the tank. I need the 180s to start happening. Like, I didn't hit many tonight, too, I think. So I'm ridiculous. I'm a big 180 hitter and they weren't there. But tomorrow's a different day. Maybe they'll turn up. Maybe I'll turn up and we'll have a great game. Thanks, Simon. Best of luck tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you. Simon, how frustrated are you that you can't find the level that you expect from yourself right now? It's really frustrating because I've been putting more hours in this year than I have ever, I think. Practice at home's going pretty good, but still not settled with something I'm comfortable with in my hands. You know, it's, it's, it's hard to explain it. I guess you could only ask Peter Wright what I'm going through because, you know, he, he's pretty much in the same boat. What's brought that on? Because for years you used two separate barrels that were the big things in your career. You had the first ones and then you had the one with the, the scallop in it. Yep. You were settled on So what's brought this change on of not being able to find something? I don't know. I just felt uncomfortable with the darts I had. I felt like I needed to change something. It's really, really difficult to explain, but yeah, you just get to a point, you go, all right, I need a new change, just to like build the enthusiasm back for the game and stuff like that. And you touched on it a minute ago, are you fearing that it's going to be another early exit from the World Championship tomorrow against Gary Anderson if you produce that again? Yeah, I mean, a 90 average won't even come close to Gary. I need to average, you know, somewhere near 100 just to be competitive. But sets is a different game, you know. I lost the first set tonight, 3-0, didn't, didn't give up, you know, there, there's something in the tank which won't let me give up. Thank you. Simon, how were the stress levels in that final set, how long you missed a number of rounds and sent it to all? They weren't too bad to be fair, you know, I was, I was feeling more relaxed in that last set than the whole match, so I, I started to hit things, you know, the 180s started to happen and... Yeah, I know if he'd hit that last double to make it last leg, I was like, ooh, I don't know about this now. Would have been interesting anyway, that's all I can say. Do you believe that top Simon Wiggott game when you're smashing in 180 after 180 is still there? Can you produce that tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, I, I can do it in practice. I just need to settle with something, and that, that's the main thing. Like, Be happy with what you've got in your hand and believe in it, and things will happen. Same dots tomorrow? Probably. The darts will be the same. I'm not sure about the stems and flies, but yeah, you, you know what? They went pretty good. I'm not going to complain about them because they went pretty good. You've been written off before in your career. Do you believe that you can get back to your best on the BBC circuit and why not this week? Yeah, definitely. I mean, i am put more hours in now. I just need to settle with something. Same, same again, like just get something uncomfortable in the hand and... Believe in it, and then you know, the world's mine. Thank Simon, you. you um, have a record against Gary in this competition many a year ago now, and I know it means nothing now, but you know that there are thousands of Australians at home who are watching tonight rooting for you. Mickey said he had three heart attacks tonight for you, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I mean, it must be important to you. I know this is an individual event, but you know the support you have back home. So getting into that situation, it's still important for people to understand you're still there fighting. Yeah, absolutely. I'm never going to give up. You know, I, I train hard. You know, I, I'm more interested in like working out and stuff now than darts. Like I know it actually upsets my darts, but. Being healthy and strong is more important to me than performing. In the triple nineteen tonight, that oh, was that was saviour. great. Yeah, I practice that just as much as triple twenty on, at home and triple eighteens. The eighteens let me down a bit, but nineteens were fantastic. And for you, like over the last few years, we've had a number of Australians playing, and obviously Damon's come through. But I know it's in your heart. You you worked with Gigi Rob Modger before that. We're seeing more and more coming over here and participating in this event. I guess it's not at a huge level at the moment. It'd be great to see more of people come along and get your support and learn from experiences like that tonight. Yeah, uh, you know what? I help all the Aussies out. If they want to come over, they're always welcome at my house to stay and train with me and stuff. But uh, my boy's doing well now. He's yeah. he's he's starting to do some damage on the board now. I look forward to a winning versus <laughs> Whitlock in the uh, next generation. Yeah, I mean, Wayne's boy's doing amazing back home. He, he's fantastic. Um, hopefully my boy's going to kick him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which moment do you feel post the most greatest challenge for you? Um, tonight. Tonight. Which moment? Yeah. I think just going into the last set, I'm... Um, I mean, you know, you got to perform in that last set to win, and thank God I hit some big shots and hit a few doubles. So please give some comment about your arrival tonight in the Philippines. Oh, he was amazing. He, he just never gave up. You know, he, he played like an Aussie, really. Like, he just never gave up. He never relented. He just kept hitting 180s and hitting the doubles. He, he was so good. The, oh, I want to win, of course, but it's a lot of work to do from now till the end. But I believe I'm still in. I've got a chance. I won't give up. That's one thing. I'll never give up. Thank you. No problem. Simon, we've alluded to it, but it has been a tough year for you. Will you do anything differently next year to try and put things right for 2024? Uh, probably not. I'll just, just keep training hard and practicing. And, do what I do what I do, you know, maybe find a set of darts I actually like and work with, you know. That, it's all about what you got in your hand. If you don't believe in them, then they're not gonna work. Speaking about what you've got in your hand, we know that there is a new rule next year with points change. Have you been preparing for that? We know that you've used aggressive points in the past. Some people yeah. have complained about it, but mm -hmm. do you feel like that can affect your game as well? I'll be honest, it's affected my game for the last three four months since I've known the rule I've been trying to change and it's had a big impact on my game now like since then I've been trying new stuff and that's probably what's made my game like go downhill so I'm I'm in big trouble next year do you think that is part of the equipment or is that sort of the mental side to it, knowing that you've been using these points for so long and now all of a sudden you have to stop using them on this set day. It's nothing to do with mental, it's all because I hold the point, I need the grip on the point to throw the dart. I've always used a grip point to throw with. And if this rule comes in next year, I'm in a lot of trouble. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just looking ahead to tomorrow night. We know that this was a very, very close match, but how will you put this match out of your mind to get ready for tomorrow against an opponent like two-time champion Gary Anderson? I'm going to take all the positives out of tonight because there was so many. I mean, I did some great darts under pressure. I hit some big shots, big doubles when I needed them. And to be honest, I'm actually a little bit confident going into tomorrow, but not really 100%. <laughs> I'm being honest. Like. Simon, big well done on the way. Thank you. Thanks.